is it rolling? Okay guys, so I had the idea for this video to do an update on SOS skincare. Basically, when your skin has been going through some sort of ordeal, whether it was self-made from using the wrong products or, you know, like, I don't know, the environment changed and it gave you some sort of rash, blah, blah, blah. And how I came to this was because our lovely subscribers and my team challenged Ro and I to do a no skin care challenge and then after that five days my skin was so raw like it was rough it had a bunch of dead skin and then afterwards they once again challenged me to another video which is coming out very soon aka this Saturday and then during that video it just so happened that the universe had to bless me as well on the week right before my period which is basically Basically the most tumultuous time of my skin where for sure I will break out on the chin and on the jawline because that's just what hormonal acne is and I still get it you know you guys like to say oh my god your skin looks so good false I still go through the roughest of times especially before my period because of that challenge I couldn't use any BHA I couldn't use any chemical exfoliants I couldn't even use spot treatments it has been a rough experience let me tell you and I'm still kind of like recovering from it so this video is all about how to get our skin back on track and so I'll show you kind of like my weekly treatment and how I'm gonna get rid of all this like roughness type of thing you might not be able to see it right now but it's there definitely and my pores were feeling really clogged my skin was rough and dinosaur like it was like sandpaper and like yeah there's just a lot that you don't see but I feel another reason why I'm doing this is because tomorrow I'm actually hosting one of my friends wedding she's getting married I can't believe it and so like all the more reason to get my skin nice and glowing again because it is super dehydrated let me tell you what my skin needs is like basically that so first of all I'm gonna take a shower because it's been a long day I'm gonna wash this off and then we'll get on to the skincare make sure you like and subscribe join the beauty within fam yeah So, I think what everyone has to do when it comes to this state is a little quick skin assessment, you know, every night, every morning. For me, I have all this hyperpigmentation, all the pimples that I was kind of like um, dealing with have now subsided, but I am left with a lot of kind of just like surface scarring or like darkening on this side as well so they're all kind of flat which is good good signs um, because my period finally came and so instantly after my period comes it's like everything just woosa, it just goes down but then you know we're left with the aftermath so then during like the challenge of no cleansing i accrued a lot of dead skin and it really filled up my pores like you can see in the footage my pores were huge and they were filled and I could actually see the white stuff kind of like popping at the seams and then I would just kind of run my hands through and they would all be under my fingernails and it was like disgusting because I think it was a lack of cleansing so I couldn't really dissolve the debris from the day and then I also didn't use any light chemical exfoliation so the dead skin for my oily skin was just kind of building up and building up and building up and building up which led to breakouts as well. Remember how I got it on the forehead? So now my forehead is relatively fine, but I do realize that my like cheek area is very oily, but it's also very dry because I think what I missed most was a toner to instill that hydration. And hydration actually really helps with getting your hyperpigmentation back on track as well. Okay, so step one. So I was looking forward to this all month all week and it was to do my chemical exfoliating mask i just feel like 
doing these once a week at the end of the week is such a good way to just reset the skin. So these are my two favorites. It's the Paula's Choice 25% HA and 2% BHA. And then the one that I've talked about for a really long time, the Peach and Lily Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. And I really can't, I don't know, which one do we use? You know what? Let's do one on each side. <laughs> this one is a little bit more potent than this one. So for those of you kind of just getting into these masks, like you will feel a slight tingling, but the tingling should subside. The Peach and Lily one is designed for super sensitive skin because Alicia also has really dry sensitive skin. So this formulation with the blue agave, and I think it's got chamomile, like, Wow, it is amazing. I remember the first time I used this, it was life-changing. Like, there was a visible brightening and glow to my skin. You can see, and it just gives, like, I can already start to feel it tingle a little, but it's not painful, you know? There's a difference between it being painful and just kind of doing its work. So just put a light layer of that on. Ding! This one is beautiful this is Paula's choice it's pretty new I think it came out it definitely came out this year and <laughs> I love it so much it definitely has this weird smell to it this one has glycolic lactic and mandelic acid and it's this beautiful like butterfly pea purple shade like look at that beautiful oh that's all over my brow I will say, keep it away from the under eye area. You don't want that sensitive area to get, you know, tingle or burn or anything. And guys, I just feel like if you need a quick hit, like you just need instant kind of boosting, these masks are awesome. You, like everyone should definitely try this and use it once a week. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes. You don't want to keep these on too long because they're already kind of like doing its job and I already can like the feeling of tingling has already subsided. So yes, we're going to leave this on for 20 minutes. Speaking of breaking down not only the skin's dead skin cells, I'm going to use the time and break down these boxes. I mean, that's the best part about doing a mask, right? You can use it to do whatever you need to do which is not procrastinating. Success! Oh my gosh. Empty Box has been in this place for like a month because I just really hate breaking down boxes. But anyway, it's funny because once you do it, you realize that like the mental hurdle that you built up within yourself was really just nothing. That literally took me like three minutes, five minutes, <laughs> something. <laughs> anyway, mental hurdles, guys. We got to get past it. <laughs> Hello again. All right, so we're gonna wash it off. They don't like dry to become like fully dried. It's still kind of wet, but this one becomes this kind of like film. So yeah, let's wash it off. You see what I mean? You can already tell that my skin is like brighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, but man, I can definitely tell. Dab a dab. Guys. And the thing about these masks is that like they don't feel drying, you know? Wow, I am so shook. Okay, so now let's move on to hydration. Okay, so now that we have a nice clean slate, we're gonna go into toning, which is my favorite step and what I miss the most. 
So the ones that I like my go-to, any person can use, these should be on a daily basis, is obviously the Haru Haru. So this is the fragrance and alcohol free one. My love is obviously the OG that you guys know, but I've also been using the April Skin Artemisia Rice Essence Toner. And this one's really good for soothing and calming because of the mugwort and the rice. And my favorite as of right now is the Kombucha Tea Essence from Dr. Suricle. And it's like a tea foam. And what you do, is you shake it up and it's just beautiful like that so i don't know i honestly have a hard time choosing between all these three i feel like this one is really nice and silky it can almost act as a moisturizer sometimes very similar to the laneige cream skin but today i feel like the haru haru you can also even layer them up you know because they're all very soothing and calming they don't have like any chemical exfoliants in there and i feel like if your skin is irritated using these very soothing and hydrating toners really is the key to getting your skin back on track it's just really great and i feel like this also helps with scarring and like hyperpigmentation a lot you can also if you're down for it go in with a layer of this one let's just do all three. Oh my god i love it i've missed it so much we're just gonna layer it on so you can leave some time in between down the neck i can already feel like my skin is so happy oh so good i've missed toning so much even for an oily girl you know it's like so important important you just don't understand it made all the difference i think like one of the biggest things i realized within these challenges was how much i actually love and need a toner and what it actually does to the skin like just hydration is it's so underrated guys should we use this too i'm just gonna use it because i want you guys to like See how awesome it is. Oh no, my rug. My little rug furs. So it's like this beautiful milky texture. And it's not sticky, you know? At the end of three layers of this, my skin is still so just like skin like. It's not oily, it's not greasy, which is the best thing about toners this is definitely what you need in an sos routine lol i can't believe we used all three of my toners but <laughs> living life i'm excited look how glowy the skin looks now this was something i missed so much guys now for my skin i'm just gonna go in with a moisturizer and the one that i've been testing out and really enjoying is the quarterly this is the vino source hydra so all the quarterly products are awesome because they have a lot of antioxidants from the grapes which is their kind of that's what they're known for so it's this beautiful texture oh my god it's so pretty it is a little thicker than a gel cream oh so nice guys it really feels like the beauty of joseon dynasty cream how it's so silky oh my god it just like glides across the face it leaves the skin really nice and glowing without looking oily and that's really important for me you can tell that it just like sinks in bing bing so really, whatever it is that you're kind of facing with your skin, whether it's acne and breakouts or uneven skin tone, like texturally, or it's hyperpigmentation, really what you want to look for are hydration and hydrating ingredients, which, you know, I showed you my faves. And to trap that all in with a really high antioxidant moisturizer 
and you just want to find a consistency that works for you if you have drier skin then look for something that's a little bit richer a little bit thicker and then for oily skin you can obviously go for something that's gel you know the April skin that I was using or if you feel like you just need a little more don't feel scared if you have oily skin to go for something that's a little thicker because sometimes you just need it and guys I think overall it's just practicing patience with yourself practicing patience with your skincare products because it takes time to work as well so it's something that we have to cultivate every day use every day use every night and just you'll eventually start to see the benefits over time and i can definitely tell you this because i have been through hell and back lately with my skin so we're on the upward trajectory and i can already feel i am bouncing back my skin is so bright compared to like last week and it's just these minor little things you know a mask at the end of the week really hydrating ingredients throughout the week and yeah, that's about it. Ding! So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of chill wind down, how I get my skin back on track. I'll be using these every night. And if I do have a breakout here and there, definitely using a pimple patch and the Paula's Choice BHA 9 just to spot treat. And that's about it. I assure you guys, your skin will be back and glowing in no time. So I want you guys to share your kind of SOS skincare favorites with me in the uh, comment section, just so everyone can kind of learn from each other what we can all use because skin is very unique to all of us individually. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you have subscribed. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Good night or good morning, wherever you are. <laughs>